Today I'm going to talk about zigzagging. Welcome to episode number 32 of the Ian Luber's journey. So today I was walking back from a coffee shop to my apartment and I was walking through downtown so I'd often uh, hit a red light and because I was on the edge of a block I would just turn left and I'd be able to walk. I never actually had to stop walking. Uh, I, it was just a question of whether I'd go right or left. Ultimately zigzagging my way back to my apartment and it got me thinking a little bit about the path that's gotten me to, to where I am today and basically how life works which is to say a lot of what it takes to accomplish something over a long period of time uh, is zigzagging. You'll run into what looks like a red light and at that point, that's when you turn and pivot and find somewhere with a green light. And you're not always moving straight towards your goal, because that's not always possible. Sometimes there are things blocking your path. But as long as you're in constant motion, and as long as it, each time you see a red light, you pivot and look for the open path, you'll make progress. And there are a lot of examples of this uh, from my own life. One of the easiest examples is when I started my first business, period. I was studying physics in college. I was doing really well in school. And I never really thought I would be an entrepreneur or build businesses. Although I later realized I've always been an entrepreneur in the sense of, of starting things. Um, but I never really had dreams of building businesses or being an entrepreneur. It kind of just happened. I, uh, I just saw an opportunity and completely pivoted what I was doing. And when I started a business, I ended up, before I even started what I call my first business, I, I tested uh, about three or four, maybe even five, I don't remember, different business ideas, which... Uh, just fell flat. And this is like the epitome of, of pivoting, right? This is, people actually use the term pivot in a business sense to talk about this, where you test something and it fails and so you pivot and it feels on an emotional level kind of like you're going backwards, like you've just made all this work on what you thought would be a good business and you find out nobody wants it. Nobody's going to pay for it. And it's tough. It's really tough. And it feels like you've wasted all this work. But the truth is, what I've found is as long as you've been learning, as long as you've been in some sense moving forward, as long as you have some sort of momentum, that momentum will carry you somewhere, even if it's a zig or a zag. You can rarely have a straight shot to wherever it is you want to go. And another example of this uh, is when... I decided that I wanted to stop dancing or that I was finished dancing. Uh, I This was relatively recently actually when I was in a really difficult time, uh, the time that I've referenced uh, a lot of times in these videos. I, I was just like, dancing is just another thing. It's too much. It's not a priority. It's not essential. I'm getting rid of it. And I told myself I was done. I was out. And what happened was I ended up making, generating enough revenue, getting, you know, my, my perspective completely shifted. I, I reached a place of, of stability. And all of a sudden, I just felt this, like, emptiness in my life and realized there was no real reason anymore that I shouldn't dance, even though I decided I was done with dancing. And I zigged right back into it. And the... The lesson of this is that uh, certainly for me, at a lot of times I've been sort of tricked into thinking that I have to wait for the optimal path. Like it's the equivalent of standing on a street corner and you're trying to get catty corner, right? And you, if you, if there aren't cars, you just walk across the diagonal, but there are cars. And so you're going to have to go right. You're going to have to go left. Um, and some people 
they don't even, they just think I got to go straight across and they stand there waiting and the cars never stop and they never get there because they never created that forward momentum. This was me. This was me in, in for certain times in my business um, before I learned the importance of, of constant momentum. Now, what's actually more common is people will see one path that's nonlinear, that's a zigzagging path. In other words, they'll be trying to get across the diagonal and they'll see that there's a crosswalk to the right. But there's a do not a do not walk sign. And so they'll just stand there and they'll wait and eventually it'll turn into a little walking man and they'll walk across. They've got the green light. But if they just look to their left, they would have seen another path, a path that was open immediately. And they would have gotten where they were trying to go a lot faster. And I always remind myself of the importance of constant momentum. Even if it's in a direction that doesn't feel right, in fact, even if it's a direction that you are fairly certain is wrong, but is still valuable in the sense of learning or in the sense of testing things, then take it. Because it's always better to zig and zag your way to where you're trying to go than to stand on a street corner. Hope you found this interesting. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow.